It's 40 past 10. It's a Saturday morning. I'm cranking out my exercises with this two kilo dumbbell. This is actually a pretty cool way to do this because you, the givers, you can probably see more than what I can if this is working from comparisons from the last time that I showed you. I mean, have, have I got that out any further? I feel like I have. It's also the kind of exercise you can do on a chilled out Saturday morning while having a coffee. I don't drink so much coffee, but on a weekend I'll have a couple. This is my second this morning. It's an absolutely smashingly beautiful day and I'm probably gonna go for a swim very soon. But I also wanted to show you um, a quick change or like an update, I suppose, to the Apple HomePod situation. So I was talking about how I could get rid of all of my um, audio equipment and then just get the HomePod. And if I could sell that on eBay for $250, I'd be pretty happy. Well, yesterday I sold it all. So this is my setup now. I used to have the speakers here, the speakers there, and I had a big subwoofer there. And down here I had a, um, a Pioneer receiver. And then there was a big center speaker that the television was sitting on. And now all that's gone. And I'm going to have a HomePod sitting just here when it arrives. Now, I managed to get 225, which I was pretty stoked with. I, I, I kind of knew that it was, all that stuff was probably worth, maybe it was worth a little bit more, but for the sake of, you know, it's 2018 and who, who really wants all that kind of stuff anyway when there's, you know, there's Bluetooth speakers and there's different, different ways to have music in your house. But the gentleman who bought it was local, so he was in Kalala Bay or Sanctuary Point. And he said, look, man, I'll give you 200. And I kind of said, dude, if you can kind of come halfway between 200 and 250, i.e. 225, that'd sort of suit me. So he gave me 225 and that brings the HomePod price down a little, uh, well, a chunk, I suppose. And it makes it sort of more, um, more affordable and more, I think it's more in line with what that product should be worth. And by the way, those givers, actually only one, Bilzy, mentioned how crap um, the HomePod is and he actually no, I'm just thinking he didn't do it on my channel He made a Facebook post about how crap it is and look I'm gonna be honest for for a lot of people this HomePod thing is rubbish um, Like like you said, it's not a Bluetooth speaker and it has to be plugged into power now for me I don't care two hoots about the Bluetooth sync thing because like I explained it's coming straight from Airplay from my iMac straight to the Apple TV. So that's fine. I don't need Bluetooth but I do think that that power cable thing is nuts. Like, why can't you take, I can't take it outside and put it over there. I have to have it in here unless the cable is long or an extension cable or whatever. I feel like they'll probably um, do a version two, which will be battery powered or chart like plugged in and then unplugged it and take it down to the beach or whatever. Or as far as your Wi-Fi extends, ours goes outside, no sweat. But yeah, but the thing that kind of that the points that Bilzy made was that this is a absolutely crap smart speaker but all the reviews he pointed to said how rad it sounds so for me I don't really need the smarts so much I just need it to sound okay and I know my other gear is gonna sound better but as long as it sounds okay that's that was my angle um, and as long as it works with my Apple TV, so that's the next thing we're gonna to have to work out. And I'll, there'll be workarounds and things I can do, but